Here we are uh, in Ealing. Um, and right behind us, um, you can see a UK broadband site, which is now transmitting um, on 23420, which is Three's mobile network code. Previously, sites like this um, were only available to Relish customers, which was former UK broadband. The whole situation's a little bit confusing. However, that doesn't matter now because these are accessible to all customers on 3UK. The site doesn't have 3G, but it does have 4G and 5G, and the 5G is 100 megahertz, so it's pretty speedy, and I'll let Peter talk to you about that. A year ago, we were at one of these UK broadband sites, but as Jake said, they were only accessible to specific home broadband customers, so there wasn't really all that much we could do with them. This time round, where the site's been reparented so that all of 3's customers can use it, We've been out testing and the performance numbers are absolutely amazing. So on 5G, it's happily doing 1000 megabits per second or about a gigabit. And on 4G, it has L18 and L21 with four layers as well for multi 100 megabit per second 4G speeds. So it is absolutely amazing. And these sites give three a massive advantage in urban parts of London because they're going to be 5G and add 4G capacity in addition to the sites that 3 have as part of their original mobile network. So in effect, 3 customers in some areas are going to end up with about twice as many sites as they would have had before. And this is clearly going to not only massively improve 4G, but also help 3 deploy 5G very rapidly as well. So we've just walked to Ealing Common direction and found another site which is 100 megahertz another uk broadband 100 megahertz site and performance was once again very very nice hitting about the gigabit the gigabit range and as we walk down this road we should then get to a originally three sites they're not a uk broadband one that's been converted but is also 100 megahertz we're now in acton and right behind me is an em3 max configuration style site this also has 100 megahertz of 5G spectrum on it, which is also performing really, really well. So we're now near the Acton mainline station and the site behind me is quite an interesting one because this site originally had both the standard three mobile network mast as well as a separate UK broadband site which has been converted to 5G. So we've done a little bit more of investigation now walking around the site and it's quite curious in that there seems to be three sectors of 44R, L18 and L21 coming off the UK broadband site but they've also kept the three three LTE sectors as well so in effect it's a six sector 4G site spread across both the three and UK broadband site with then three sectors of 5G provided by the UK broadband one. Performance once again as this is part of the 100 megahertz cluster is really really good and once again the multi 100 megabit per second performance area. In fact on this journey that Jake and I have had performance has been absolutely amazing across the board on this 3 5G cluster. Once more of these UK broadband sites are reparented and more of the three sites are upgraded to 5G, the performance is likely to end up being absolutely incredible. And the number and pace this is happening is really quick. So I think by the end of the year at least, there should be an entirely new and much better network. Okay, so my hair is very, very, very long. It's lockdown hair. The thing is, every time that um, me and Peter go to make some videos or like we meet up, it's just before I get a haircut. So like, yeah, I know it's long. I know it's long. Okay. But yeah, I promise my hair doesn't look like this. It's just, I always seem to get a haircut right after we meet up and then I look normal. But hey, I also suppose it means that I don't get recognised in public, like like he has a few times, so 